how do burgers develop in your I, house? I was just thinking that. Like, how do you get Like, them? what is the process of a burger? I would literally go back in time just to have lead-filled Lucas. I thought you were trying to, like, throw shade at me. Like, Rock's gonna, like, <laughs> clean his teeth. Hey guys, yes, Carol, welcome back to my channel. I'm yelling, but it's because we have a special guest. You guys know Rox is in the house living, if we're a little bit delirious. <laughs> delirious? Delirious? Delirious. Um, it's because we already did a candy tasting, what, a Mexican candy tasting video on her channel. Wait, if you guys are new, I'm Yesenia, this is Roxette, <laughs> and we do a Mexican candy taste test. Well, we do other kinds of taste tests, but. All, mm, not all. Mostly well, Japanese some. and Mexican. Yeah, but like ours. So yeah, like yeah. I'm Japanese and yes is Mexican. So we we started this whole thing by like showing each other foods and candies and snacks mm -hmm. from like our childhoods or cultures yeah. basically. So then that's where it kind of became and that's where we it are. Blossomed. But actually this time around we're trying chocolates. <laughs> candies that I've not really tasted before yeah. or her. So she actually went to Cabo and she picked these up and a lot of you guys are always like, more Mexican candy videos. But the thing is that I feel like we kind of already tried most of the ones that are like iconic to me. So um, now we're kind of like broadening, is that broadening? Yeah. Broadening our horizon. But first off, this really stood out to me because you guys, is this a wannabe Duvalin? Nusita, who are you? Like, I don't, I'm not familiar with this, but this looks kind of like a wannabe Duvalin. Remember you tasted Duvalin? Mm -hmm. um, and so I don't know how I feel about it, but. So the packaging is different. This one's a little bit longer. It's more wide. Oh, that's cute though. It comes with a little Okay, spoon. I'll give you that much. The spoon the is The spoon is cute. actually so cute. And it has like a little dinosaur on the thing. All right, so let's see. Which one are you gonna taste? The strawberry? The pink one, but first off. Oh my god, it's so hard. It's hard. The hell, look. You can barely dig in. Since I don't know this, like, I don't really know if it's supposed to be like this. I feel like no. But listen, I'm gonna go ahead and take one for the team. Let's see. Mm, it's good. Oh! <gasps> oh my god, it's so good. Mmm. Does it taste better than the Duvalin, though? No. It does. Oh. You think so? Well, it's different. Honestly, it's different. This one's a lot harder. This is like a fudge. But do you think it's actually meant to be like this? Like, I'm just not familiar with this, so I don't know if it's like supposed to be hard. Are they expired? That I actually feel like these are different. Like, I felt like Duvaline was more of like a pudding. Yeah, it's very this is soft. Like a this is like a fudge, like a chocolate fudge. Mm. Mm. I'm concerned. I don't know if it's supposed to be hard, man. But it kind of tastes like fudge. It tastes just like a Duvalin. So, my thing is, are these more inexpensive? Like, are these like the knockoffs? Like, uh, like I have a lot of questions. If you guys know, <laughs> please let me know down below. It kind of tastes to me like a Duvalin, except for this is not soft at all. It's actually really, it's really like, hard, hard like fudgy. to get into. Like, do you guys see that? Like, do you guys see how it like crumbles up? Is that a thing? I don't know. If you guys have tasted this, please let me know down below. What do you give it? I you ate it all. Almost. Kinda. Mm -hmm. And then you living for the fake Duvalin. I like the texture of this one though, honestly. It's like hard. Please let me know down below if you guys have ever tasted these if they're supposed to be hard. Imagine I, I like just ate not. like a full one that's like and all then, bad. And then no, that's definitely stale. And then being poisoned. So we'll see how it goes. Next up, you already got into these. Okay, so these are called enchiladas. Mm -hmm. Enchiladas. Um, wait, oh, enchiladas. I found, look at what I found in here. And then me, oh, sorry, I was saving that for later. <laughs> and then me, my bad, my bad, <laughs> when I packed my bag. Um, so they're like little lollipops, and I already tried them um, while I was in, while I was there. This is the only one I already tried out of this batch, but. Um, it's almost like a little lollipop that's different flavors. They have like pineapple, I think. They have like a couple different flavors, like pineapple, Wait, mango. In here? Yeah, there's different flavors in oh. here. Oh, oh, so they're caramel though. They're caramel. Caramel? Do you say caramel or caramel? I'm. I don't know. Caram. Caramel. Caramel. Okay, me too. Um, so they are caramel paletas con chile, but they have the different ones. Which one did you get? Okay, I'm gonna get pineapple. How do you know? Oh, mango. Yeah. So it says right here, mango. And tamarindo. Tamarindo. I got tamarindo. I like the mango one. 
a lot. Um, honestly, these are like okay. Like if there's nothing else, I would eat them. But there's nothing like that special to me. Like these. Oh my god. Um, I love these. You have to keep sucking for the spiciness. It like comes out. It's like inside. Oh, it's like a. Not like that. <laughs> like okay. If you keep licking. <laughs> If you keep licking it, it starts to become hard. See how it's getting texture? Uh-huh. And that's the spicy one. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can get there. <laughs> how many licks does it take See? to get to the chili? And now it's getting spicy. Okay. Like little bits. Mm. Yeah, like she said, I feel like this is one of those candies that I'd have if it was just there. But actually, I don't even know. I don't <laughs> even know. I might just not have anything. Mm. I'm not crazy about it. Let's go into the good one, but I have a fun fact for rocks. So this is a Vero mix. So you guys know the Vero mangos. Um, you guys. Why don't they make them like they did before? Like, I feel like it sucks because, like I was saying, and I, I was talking about it in Roxette's video, like, do you guys remember the Lucas? Like, they don't sell those anymore because they have lead. And so I feel like they started finding some real sketch stuff in, like, this candy. And it sucks because, like, it was good, you know? So it sucks because it's like, do I want to be healthy and, like, okay? Or do I want to relive my childhood? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. But anyways. All right, let's see. Have you tasted? I don't think you've tasted the main, the, the. <gasps> Alote. You guys. Mm. What is this? Do you guys see it? Do you guys see this? Is it scarcity or scarcity? Like, it doesn't have enough. Scarcity? Scarce. 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 Scarcity. Scarce. Scarcity. Scarcity. Scar scarce. Scarce. It's so scarce. <laughs> What? What do you, you can see the yellow? What happened, Vero? What happened, Vero mix, banda fuego, dulces Vero? What happened? Where wh where did life change? They are not the same. They're not like they were before. You know, like they used to be loaded, dude. Like it was like the best. And like now it's like literally 5% chili, 90% candy. Oh, it's, it's still, still it's so it was good though. really sour though. <laughs> I hadn't had one of these in a long time. Oh. <laughs> and then you go off on a full rant. Well, no, because I was just kind of like, you know what? <gasps> I'm not doing it anymore. Dude, it's so spicy for me. Mm. Not even spicy, like salty. Sour. Salty. Yeah, sour. Mm. These are really good to have with like um, orange on the mm. side. I like to have them with orange on the side because it kind of like balances it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So not just healthy and candy, but also it's like balances out the sodium. Yeah. Because it is very salty. It's really salty. But I love the mango and the uh, watermelon ones. Oh my God. Never had this. I don't even know how to say that. Trablenquas. Trablenquas. I've never had that either. That one has an asterisk. So I don't know why that one has an asterisk. Like as if they're saying like, maybe you'll get this, maybe not. Mm. Let me see. Mm. Oh, oh we got it. I think you might have to fill it up with something. El trapaguas? I've never had this before. What? Maybe you fill it up with... You would think you kind of like fill it up with... This doesn't taste like anything. What? I feel like there's a... Dude, try it. I really feel like you have to put like chamoy in there mm -hmm. or something. Oh my god, it's so good though, but it, it's not spicy. Mmm. Mmm. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. <gasps> oh, oh, it's it that bad. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mmm. You guys see what I did there? Inventionist. Inventionist. <laughs> Inventor. Oh. Inventor. <laughs> What? So I think I think you're meant to put chamoy in there or something. There's a reason why it has that hole. What does that word mean? Trabalenguas? 
tongue twister. Maybe you're supposed to twist your tongue in there. In there. Like, we wouldn't know that you're doing it, but... Honestly, bomb. I really like the flavor of that one. I don't know what the flavor is. Like, it's, it's not like a fruit. It's like sandia. Mm -mm. You think so? That one is. Yeah, but this has, I think, the flavor of... Well, we'll see right now. We'll taste it. Mm. Oh, yeah. I kind of see what you're saying. Mmm. No, look. You look. get taste... Oh. It's Mexican candy porn. <laughs> And then it's like the movie of the Seth Rogen movie. <laughs> Have you guys seen Sausage Party? Oh my god, so traumatizing. <laughs> so Don't traumatizing, watch that. honestly. Literally, the end is like, I can never take those images of those hot dogs out of my head. Mm. Right? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Whoa. We're really spicy. I mean, salty. Ah, oh, so bad for you. You can taste the bad. You can taste how bad you it is. You could just taste like the sodium going into yeah. your. Like this is like 17 bowls of ramen. Mm hmm Ah, oh, but it's so good. Oh wait, we didn't try the vero mango. The mango one is bomb. But, I ha I've had that one before. <sighs> but I just feel like it just doesn't look like they did before, dude. Before they used to be like, like you were able to like bite into it, and like you would leave a mark of like how much chili. It was like a thick consistency almost. It wasn't just like a little bit of powder, you know? I wish you could have tasted them in those days, but. Let's go back in time. Let's go back in time then. <laughs> I would literally go back in time just to have lead filled Lucas. Have you tasted squinkless? No. Okay, so squinkless, I actually really like. Squinkless are, um, I've actually tasted these before and these are, um, they're kind of like sour straws. Ooh, I love those. But Mexican. So like okay. tamarind flavor. Yeah. Well, these are actually, I think, mango. These are like that kind of yellow, ah, so I feel ah. like it'll be mango. It's kind of weird how they're so like sticky, huh? Mmm. I see what you're saying. It looks like a worm. What? <laughs> it tastes off. Does it? Yeah. I ate the whole thing already. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it tastes very off. Fuck. Oh, this oh. is tamarindo. That's probably why. Look. Why. I, I, thought, I thought it tasted pretty good. Yeah, okay. Well, they have Seven. sandia ones. I would say like a six, They actually. have sandia ones that are really Ooh, good. Ooh, that would be good. Those are good. So that's probably why I was kind of like, mm -hmm. eh. Um, okay, so next up we're going to do these. These right here, I've seen. I always see them at the stores. Never have grabbed them, tried them. They look good. Um, I feel like it's kind of similar to what we tried on mm -hmm. your video. So I guess we will see. Okay. Mm. I like Mini that. Ones. I feel like I really like that this packaging reminds me of gum. I like I that. I feel that. I like that. <laughs> You're only gonna eat like half of it because the rest of it crumbled <laughs> off. Okay. Whoa. Wow. I like that. I don't know if you were going to say that you like it, but it's really good. I was going to say, whoa, it tastes like nothing. Like, it tastes like air. That's why I like it. <laughs> That's why I like it, because it tastes like air. What? You don't like it? Oh, my God, it's so good. I am sure I didn't like it. I said, whoa, it tastes like nothing like air. Like, uh, like you were but so shocked. But it's not bad. I was just shocked. But would I buy it again? Yes, 100%. If, oh I was God, in the, if I was light. in the mood, if I was in the mood for something light and airy, this is like a good diet candy. Honestly, if you want something, I don't to, think it's like good. I don't. It's probably not good if you're actually on a diet, though. No, but if you like just want to cheat, just if, you, if you if you want like a cheat day and you're like, I need chocolate, like this is probably a lot better for you than like a denser, like heavy chocolate. If you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. You know, air, air. Because it's like really light on the inside. It so literally light. tastes like those. Those cookies, like the wafer ones with chocolate, but even more so than the other ones. Like yeah. these are lighter. Like lighter. And I think it's also because it's really small. Yeah. It feels like, oh my God, I'm literally eating nothing. Mm -hmm. Wow. Love it. Okay. Well, I'm surprised. I'm glad you brought these because I would have never given them a chance on the shelf. 
I give them an eight. Whoa. That is very high. That is very high. For those of you guys that know the way that I judge, it's I very think, high. I think that's the first time yours is higher than mine. I would give that a seven. <sighs> oh my God, it's too light. Mm. I would still eat it, but I prefer denser, fattier, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know. Go Chunky. big or go home. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now we're gonna go with the polvorones. And these, um, you wanna have, well today we're not gonna have them with coffee. Well we have coffee, but it's not hot. It's like really cold now. So this is like something that you have with like, um, kind of like abuelita chocolate mm -hmm, type mm -hmm, vibe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You kind of like, mm -hmm. wait, I don't think you've tasted abuelita chocolate. No, I have. Oh, you have? Yeah. Okay. I have and it at my me. house. Oh my God, you have it at your house. No. <laughs> She's my friend. Okay, so these are called polvorones because they fall apart. Mm. So we have to be careful with these. Dang it. Mmm. Smells like a biscuit. Mm. It smells like something, but I can't. Mm. Oh, I wish you guys could smell stuff from in the screen. In the screen. From in the screen. <gasps> it's really good. It, this is a perfect little, like, shortbread, like, plain cookie. Like if you want something plain, exactly to like dip in something. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, this would be really good to have like with hot chocolate or coffee or anything like in the morning. <laughs> they're, they taste good though, honestly. They're good, they are good. Um, they're good, but I give them, I don't know, I feel like I've had a lot of stuff right now, so my um, Yes, my I was just is thinking a little that. like jaded. I was just thinking that. Like I feel like, like the the things at the end are not really getting the um, ratings that they deserve. So I'm sorry for that, but I'm gonna go in and give you a four. <laughs> and then me, I'm sorry, I've done a lot of judging today. It's not you, it's me. You get a four. <laughs> oh, I'm what so do you full. Give it? Um, like a six. Okay. You guys, we leave to Miami tomorrow, and we chose today <laughs> to eat all to of eat this. all of this crap. And then as I've been eating healthy, she's been intermittent fasting, <laughs> I've been eating air, and now the day before we leave to Miami, we decide, why not eat all of the shit food that we could possibly find? Oh, and also Chick-fil-A, because that way we'll like have something in our stomach before we go in. So that's obviously the way you do it. Mm. Okay, so now we're gonna have tamborines. And I feel like Rox is gonna like these because they look like sugar. <laughs> they look like little, look at, they look like little sugar cubes. I thought you were gonna say they look like shit. <laughs> That's literally what I thought you were gonna say and I thought you were trying to like throw shade at me like Rox is gonna like these. <laughs> no. They look like shit. <laughs> no, the other ones are cute. These are actually cute. They just. I know. I wish they like just tasted better. I know. These you see how it literally looks oh, like Oh yeah, it literally looks like a sugar cube. Wait, remember this one time that I was like, Rox, I think you're really gonna like these candies that are in the hotel or something? <laughs> remember? <laughs> we were in a hotel, I think in Bora Bora. Yeah. And they, uh, the room service, they, cause I had ordered a coffee, there was, <laughs> there was a bowl of sugar cubes. Some, <laughs> some were white sugar and some were brown sugar. And I had like gotten up or something to like sign the receipt. And then Yes was like eating one and she was like, oh my God, Rox, you're really gonna like these candies that they gave us. And I looked at them and they were literally just sugar cubes, like white and brown sugar cubes. I thought they were candies. And I ate one I was and like, I did like it. I was like, oh, she's gonna love it. <laughs> because she loves like eating literal sugar. This looks like the sugar cube yeah, though, but it's it like reminded red. Me. It's it like literally just like a red memories. version. It's so weird. Also, do you remember when there was that lizard and we thought it was a spider? Oh my god, and we had called the people and like they, it was like a whole situation. You guys remember Bora Bora and then, and then <laughs> and we were freaked out because we were like, oh my god, it's like a huge spider. So we called him and we were like, sir, like there's something in our room and he came and he couldn't find anything, but also he didn't even look in the corner. Like He just looked, like, he literally there was just- a corner where we were like, it was right there. He literally didn't even look right there. He looked everywhere else and we were kind of like, what? But. They, they speak a different language, so it was kind of right. hard for us to like communicate. So I was kind of like, what? Okay, well, I guess. Like, and there was literally like a towel on the floor and he didn't even pick it up. And I was just kind of like, <laughs> okay. Like and he didn't look guys, under the towel. Yeah, you guys, it was a lizard, a baby lizard. <laughs> and then I was trying to grab it and Rock said, no, it can have like a disease. Well, I don't know, does it? Well, it probably does, but I don't know. I just thought like, oh, it's cute, you know? But uh -huh. I can't just be grabbing stuff. This is like all your dreams come true. 
It's like sugary, but it's also sweet. Mmm. It has a little sweet kick at the end. Dude, the texture is amazing. It literally does taste like a sugar cube. Like it, if you guys have ever eaten sugar cubes, <laughs> you know how it like crumbles in your mouth and it's just sweet? It's like that, but it has a little saltiness from the, um, like the chili flavor. Mmm. <laughs> I knew you were gonna like them because <laughs> it looks like a literal shirt. No, cube. it's actually. So I'm good. so dead. I was so serious at the time. I was like, oh my god, I was so excited to show you the sugar cubes too, because they were in packets. So they were. Oh yes, so they were. They were in they packets. Were. I forgot about that. Yeah. They were like literally in like a little plastic wrap. So like I was this. like, oh my god, like who does uh. that? Like don't they just give you cubes on the side? So I was like, oh my god. And remember, yeah. I went over there. And I was like, rocks. You're gonna love the candy that they left us. Like they left us a little dessert. It was sugar cubes. But this is like a mixture of all your sugar cube dreams with a little dash of Mexican. That's mm -hmm. exactly what it is. What was that? What did you? That was like know. a big butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what guys would do to be like, mm. and you know what I mean? Okay, dude, you're really going in. I love these. So it's called a tamborine, a tamborines. Drum. Do, 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 do. Mm. Okay. So we have decided, we decided it back on Roxette's channel that we are gonna do like, cause we were talking about how kind of like particular I am and how I never, where, what is this hair doing? Where is that? Okay, how I never really like everything. Oh my God, my tongue is distracting me. How I never really like everything, <laughs> but I do like a lot of candies. So we decided we're gonna do a video where I bring my top 10 tens and then she brings her top 10 hundreds. <laughs> She always takes it up a notch. But they um, could be from anywhere. Yeah, they could be from in anywhere. the world. Anywhere in the world. We should just do candies though, right? Yeah, and I think then we'll candies. do snacks. And then if we it, can do snacks and if, another if time. you guys like it, then we can do snacks. Maybe we can put on <laughs> But we're gonna do like candy. So I'm yeah. excited because I already have like a few in my head. Because I do have tens. Okay. I have hundreds. I just, yeah, you have hundreds, girl. <laughs> yes, okay. Okay, so moving on. These are gomitas acidul. And these are acid. Very, it's a trend. They are really trying to make you this guys, a trend. You guys watched her video. You guys know what we're talking about. But do you, have you ever tasted guanabana? Mm -mm. Oh my god, what did I taste it in? Did I taste it in water? I think guanabana water. It's actually really good. Um, and it is actually a fruit. Um, and that's a little, it's a little lizard. Little lizard guy, so cute. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna go into these. I already don't know how I'm gonna feel about them because. Um, they're gummy. Gummies can be hit or miss for me. Yeah, so it like, depends on the texture. So like, yes, and like yesterday that we had those, uh, I feel like the gummy worms. worms are like a good texture. You know, it's not too gummy, and these feel like feel very gummy. Like what do you? Th oh, they feel yeah. really gummy. What do you think about sour patch texture? I know you don't like the taste, but like the texture. Cause that's like ideal um, I texture for really, me. Really, I don't like it because it gets all in your teeth. See, I like that. Like I like the harder. Like Harder, texture, but, but it like really but it disintegrates. Like, exactly. Kind of. Like it really but, like, like pulls chewy apart. Though. Chewy. Mm -hmm. That's kind of interesting textures. Well, this is that texture that it has like a bounce back. I don't like the bounce backs. No? No. Personally. Uh, can you let me know if you understand what I'm saying when I say the bounce back? You know, it's almost like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, I'm not mad at the not initial bad. taste. Really not bad. It's that different. That fruit is good. It's different. I've never tried this fruit, but um, the, the I like the taste. The texture is almost like a marshmallowy, but with like a candy, like sugary coating to me. It's a lot better than I expected. Same. A lot better than expected. Okay. Now we're gonna do Kinder Sorpresa. So a lot of people are like super fans of this, and I know that this is available in like different countries. But I want to say, and correct me if I'm wrong. Well, actually, can you guys just tell me? Because I, I don't even, <laughs> the statement that I'm about to make is probably <laughs> wrong. But um, I want to say that these were not allowed here for a minute. Like in the U.S. I, they had something in them. Like, I'm not sure what it was. I'm sure you guys probably know. Um, but yeah, for some reason it wasn't allowed. Kinder eggs were not allowed Are you in sure? the U.S. Yes. Positive. Positive. 100%. 100%. Oh, my God. It better be. I just had a hundred percent, but I'm pretty sure. So not a hundred. Ninety-nine. Oh my god, like ninety-seven. 
Maybe there's like 3%. Maybe. Okay. Like, perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. But can you guys let me know? Because I don't really know the exact facts. I just heard that. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, incredible. Oh my god. Okay, that. so the... Maybe this is why they're not allowed, because they're open. <laughs> Who knows what they were trying to put in there? See if that one's open. Also, no. to be fair, it's kind of like the oh, yeah. material. It is open? The material? Well, the material is oh. just kind of like me, that. <sighs> okay. But this part wasn't open. Yeah. No, that part was not open. So it probably just cracked in there, but I'm not going to take a chance. Okay, so you take open it up. Take a chance on me. Take a chance on me. Take a chance on me. Take a Wait, it's from? cracked. Where is that from? Mine's cracked too, or is it just come like this? No, I think it just probably comes. Cracked. What? And I mean, that takes the fun out of it. I really thought I've never had a Kinder Egg. I don't think. I don't think I have. I feel like but you I would've... really thought. No, I don't think I have, honestly. But I really thought that that was kind of like the fun of it. Like you don't know what you're gonna oh, get. Oh no, I'm and then pretty you, like, sure. I'm it. pretty sure through travel and stuff, it probably cracked. Oh, enough. okay. Because yeah, it, it, it seems pretty weak, but. Surprise! It's an egg inside of an egg. Wow. No, I'm just kidding. This looks like a. What is this? Oh, it's still a surprise because you don't really know what's in there. Oh, what? A Christmas? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> ah. Okay. All right. So, what do we think about the chocolate? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to eat mine because it was open. No. Yeah. That's pretty good. And this chocolate's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's very it's chocolate. It's chocolate. It's chocolate. It's very like you, there's not much to say about it, yeah. honestly. Right. Um. Okay. So which one was your favorite? First three. Top mm. three. First three. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. So I don't want to do all suckers, although <gasps> those were my top. But I put that one in my. <laughs> and then me, my germs. Um. This one. This one and this one, which is so shocking. Oh, that one? I kind of want one right now. Kind of. Air. Uh -huh. it's, you won't even feel it, honestly. It's like, ah. I love that they put that in the packaging because if you were to take it all out, it doesn't all oh, fall apart. Isn't I was that like, so what? smart? That was actually smart. It's like a whole thing to show you guys, but it's, it's well structured. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I cannot wait to have my sister back on my <laughs> channel to do the 10-10. Oh, 10-10. That's mm. what we're, well, I don't know we're, if we're going to call it that, but that's going to be what we're going to call it. That's what we're going to be calling the top, it. The 10 top 10. 10 of the 10 or whatever. But we also filmed um, some more Trying Mexican Candy back on her channel, so make sure that you that's check why that out. So I'm going to put it in the description box below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Give us more um, recommendations on things that we can like film and stuff mm -hmm. together because I know you guys love it when we film together so let me know down below don't forget to subscribe ring that bell um comment like this video and we will talk to you guys later next time <laughs>